Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Netgear Powerline 200 Mini. It's a model uh, XAVB1301, although I've seen on the internet as being the XAV1301 without the B. Maybe the B means, I'm not too sure what it means, but uh, maybe it's uh, the North American uh, localization because it plugs right into a power plug. It's got to be localized for various different uh, power plugs. And uh, anyway, it's a nice little feature. When you plug it in, you'll get this green light on, the power. When there's a, a, a something on the LAN, you'll get a green light here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a green light in the center uh, position. And on the right, you've got, a, this is actually the nicest feature of this thing here, is a three-colored LED thing to where it can either be green, yellow, or red. And that way, you can plug the, the, the mating module for this uh, into all these different plugs and see which plug gives you the higher internet speed. So, uh, anyway, right now we're red, and that's uh, something I'm going to try working on here. Now, I had to look around here. Now, the, uh, the, this is actually the XAV1301V2, according to this. So, it's a, it's a V2, and you don't need to have the B there. But, uh, anyway, I uh, see this is the, the, the Netgear Genie, and uh, let's see about here, because I had to go through hell to find this stupid program. And it's version 2.2.27.1, which is like the newest one. And uh, I think they call it uh, the, the wireline uh, or something like that, or powerline uh, program. But all the other versions, even versions I tried like a, a version 3, and uh, it didn't even work. Uh, I wouldn't find this thing, but it works with maybe all their older products. But uh, for some reason, this particular model only works with this particular thing, and they call it... I mean, when you bring it up, it says Net, Netgear Genie, but uh, that's not the name of the download when you go to try to download it. So uh, make, make sure you get this one. Uh, and uh, so anyway, uh, when you're in the network map area, and uh, it, it'll, it'll first you know, scan all around here, and then after it scans around, and if it finds any wireline things, you get this new icon here. So you go to this new icon, and you kind of see what's going on. And if I click on one of these things, you can kind of see why we've got the... Uh, the red LED because we're getting red. Although, boy, this is actually uh, a bit higher than it normally is. Normally it'll say about 9 down, and about maybe 48 up. But uh, yeah, at various different times, depending on network traffic and depending upon what's plugged into the walls, uh, we have this problem. So one of the things I found, uh, right now I'm down here in my basement where I've got the router, and uh, the other uh, adapter is plugged upstairs into one of the bedrooms. Now, one of the interesting things I found is I was uh, plugging this thing in the bedroom. I was getting red LEDs, but if I plugged in in the hall, I ended up getting um, a green. So I think I have a theory. Uh, the way the United States is, is they uh, uh, have a phase A and a phase B. And I have a feeling, uh, you know, for the, the two phase, you know, and across the, the, from phase to phase, you have 240 volts. And from phase to neutral, you get 120 volts. And, I have, and uh, I have a feeling that I'm uh, on two different phases, so that means that these wires aren't really connected together. So I've got a theory uh, on fixing this thing here. I went to Digitique Key and looked up ceramic capacitors, 1,000 volt ceramic capacitors. And about the largest value I could find was a 4,700 picofarad, 1,000 volt ceramic capacitor. This is designed for... Uh, I looked at the, the manufacturer's app notes for it, and it's designed uh, for uh, power supplies for uh, 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 input filtering uh, across uh, the uh, a line voltage, you know, either a 220 or 120 volt uh, line voltage. So there's a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, let me see here. I think I even bookmarked the web page for this. If we want to take a look, yeah, Murata. Okay, this is the one I got. I got uh, the DigiKey Murata. They call it DigiKey part number uh, 490-4266ND. Although I found lots of other, and it's 41 cents a piece. So I found, but I found several other ones that look good. But uh, but it says uh, it's a safety certified high voltage ceramic. And, uh, you know, you could do other things. You could look around. You could probably... Find something. I prefer something that was actually physically larger size. You kind of see compared to my finger, it's kind of small. It'd be nice if I had something maybe like double the physical size for what I'm trying to do with it. 
Uh, it'd be great if I could have something that's like an inch across. But, uh, you know, everything tries to be smaller. Maybe if you looked around, you could find maybe a 2,000 volt uh, one uh, in, in one of the higher, uh, the, you know, this is like the highest uh, uh, value. Uh, so it's like, uh, like I say, 4,700 uh, picofarad, which is like 0 0.047 microfarad. So I'm going to put this on the fuse box from phase to phase. So let me stop and I'll, I'll go up to the fuse box and we'll do our little experiment. Okay, this is a, uh, an auxiliary uh, load box that just feeds the bedroom area of my house. And let me explain to you what's going on here. At the top here, you can see the, these two big black wires, one here and one here. That's the phase A and the phase B. The voltage uh, across here is 240 volts. And you can see this big bus with all the white wires on there. That's the neutral bus. And that's uh, the voltage from any one of the phases to neutral is 120. So uh, this is an eight position uh, box. Now if you look, you see a lot more than eight, don't you? Well, uh, let me show you what's going on here. These two are, are what they call half height. So each one, these are a way that you can get more breakers out of a, a single thing. So the normal ones are supposed to be an inch. But these are like two breakers that are molded together in the same breaker that are ha uh, that uh, use half of it and half of it, all of the same phase. So these two top two here are all in the same phase because they're really kind of the same breaker broken in half. And then we got this, the, the, the B phase over here and the A phase over here and the B phase over here. It alternates every other one. And then here, this is the one that says closed dryer, and that's a 240. So you can kind of see how that works. That's the one big giant breaker, so it's two inches because it has a phase A and a phase B and then uh, we got uh, you know that t takes up the top half and then there's two more on the bottom that are are, are the split breakers. I, I was at uh, I, I replaced uh, one of these things a while back and uh, you know they had them at Home D Depot and it was like $19 for one of these little split breakers. They went a lot of money for them but boy it sure is handy. It's really nice to be able to have uh, twice as many breakers in the, in the same uh, one inch spacing. So I have to find any one of these A to any one of these B. Like I could maybe go from here to here with the capacitors. So those are my little capacitors. And I could go anywhere and tell you what, just out of convenience, I think I'll pick the one that says closed dryer because we don't actually have anything hooked up to it. So I can just turn it off and I don't have to worry about turning anything off. And uh, I'll just hook a, a from here to there, those two wires, that'll be phase A to phase B with the capacitor. And then we'll see what happens on our wireless strength. Okay, here you go. Uh, I finally got it in there. It was a uh, it was a tough job because uh, there's screws on the top, and I couldn't put the wire along or the capacitor on the top because the fine little wire would get lost of all those big fat wires. So I finally put it through there, twisted around a little hook on each end, put it underneath there, and then had the wire rest on top of it, clamped it down. And of course, to make it a lot easier to to work on it, I actually pulled the breaker out of there. And now you can get a better look at the phase A. So you can kind of see how this top one is a tab hooked up to the, the right side and the bottom one is a tab hooked up to, to the left side. So I'm going to put the breaker back in here and we'll see what happens. Okay, here we are all completed. And I uh, just got to put the, the cover back on and we'll be all done. But I did a, a little uh, primary speed test and this did not help. Now I'm really pissed off. And the, the uh, I tried a bunch of other places to plug the thing in and it worked great. Like the, the hallway and the other bedrooms, it seems to work great. So I've got another theory. So th this one down here on the bottom is hooked up to one of the phases and the one above it's hooked up to the opposite phase. I'm going to take this one, you know, these two here and these two here and rotate them uh, to the, to, to, I'm going to swap them and, and hook it up to an adjacent phase and see whether that works. Okay. Uh, Success. Let's just call it a qualified success because my capacitor solution was a waste of uh, of a few dollars because uh, they're only forty one cents a piece, but I had to spend like you know three dollars on shipping. But you can see here, uh, uh, the the bedroom is now receiving at eighty one megabits and transmitting at twenty seven megabits. So this is about uh, double uh, what it had before. So we got a good double doubling here. If we look at the adapter. We see green. Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, it was green just a minute ago. Sorry, but uh, I, it's uh, now it's yellow. That that that's yellow. That's not red. But uh, it, was, it was green just a minute ago. Darn it! Oh well. But anyway, uh, 
th there you have it. Uh, is all it took was changing the phases that the, the bedroom was plugged into, uh, swapping the breakers around to the alternate face, and then everything is uh, good. So hmm, I guess uh, when you average uh, red and green together, it turns out to be yellow.